one Keel Industrial Services vlog session. Heading to the shop. Got a pretty busy day today. Meeting with our drone guy who's going to come down to one of our facilities and projects down in Kenosha that we're working on. To take the after pictures and the after videos uh, from a probably month and a half long project that we've been on. Pulling in a hole here this morning, I see. Here we are at the shop. Wonderful Friday morning. Right here we have a job that we have been spraying a zinc with kinemic zinc on. The project here has to go out today. These are the floor treads and the floor pans that go on these stringers that are over here. What we do when we spray all these is we spray all three sides that we can access and then we flip everything with the zinc. This will all be loaded up in about two hours and another semi will be coming in. We drop it off another load for us. Other side over here of our shop. Here's our 5,000 PSI pressure washers along with our hot boxes. You'll see a lot of those in a lot of our videos as it's pretty much pieces of equipment that we use on almost a daily basis. This one here you can see is a newer one. This is a Mighty M 5 gallon per minute 5,000 PSI pressure washers. When everything's the same, filters are the same, batteries are the same, all motor valves are the same, super easy to fix if something goes wrong on site. Here's an employee break room. Here's the King's office. Good morning of fun. From Rainbow 9, but it shows VFR, so that's good. Manager Mike will be here shortly and he'll be working in the shop and then we'll take the other the truck. And start looking over. You got that drone here in it? You have to lay it off. In that semi trailer and fly it out the back door, fly over full production, zoom in on our project, our meeting, and our cool box talk. Hey, love doctor! Stop of the day is an uh, industrial asphalt plant that we just completed in Kenosha. We'll be meeting with the project manager, doing a thorough walkthrough on the plant to get our final okay that uh, everything for the project was completed per the specification. Uh, we've had all their industrial painting and blasting work throughout pretty much the entire state of Wisconsin and Michigan as well. <music> Right now, Jeff Williams is meeting me down here at 9.30. He stopped by yesterday, said everything looked good. We had a little bit of over overspray on one area that was on the ground. So here we are just uh, pulling onto site. Last time I was here at this facility, it kind of looked like a piece of I'm hoping everything looks a little bit better here as we pull in. We've had our full crew of guys down here uh, for the last boat. About a month and a half total on and off. Uh, weather permitting, rain dependent. We've had kind of a wet weather here this spring, so as I turn on in here, I guess we'll be able to see the uh, the beauty and the the joy of the industrial painting world. here our breakdown what we got to finish up here pull some tape finish some railings and some ladder cages and some guards more handrails black on the silos you just want stills or you want video both videos and then still two would be fine I mean you're close enough this whole plant used to be gray so everything we had here was two coated it was primed and then painted what tape were you talking about pulling on all the railings yeah Okay. Every day we've pull. got a big piece and then they've done the rails the night that night or the next day. And they pull the tape right away. Most times, yeah. Follow in one of these trucks to like the main road in as they slowly come in. That was not an option. A lot of that's be high enough. We're just watching the towers that are here. Yeah, that's only slack enough. If we can get it high enough, the big air is going to be there and put on the road all the way up to the Turn it around, reload it. He didn't use his head yet. 
sit outside and get dirt inside the cup. See here? We're at a gravel pit. semi-work job trailers. We have our four camera system here that you can obviously see somebody going in and out the back door. The cam corner here which you see is our temperature, humidity, and dew point meter. So we take records of absolutely every single day of what the atmospheric conditions are outside. Uh, most of our large-scale projects and the paints that we, that we spray do require this. Hold on to the silos here so we can go back and do our time-lapse video that shows us the time-lapse painting up on these silos. Uh, we sprayed and back rolled all those possible to spray them and just leave them as you'd have over spray on both sides it will trigger the trade. Right here we always use communication systems for the guys here, walkie talkies. Inside here is all of our inspection equipment. We go through and we take our dry film thicknesses. This is the alcometer set. This is the Mac Daddy of them all. It's all Bluetooth wired. This is the humidity and dew point meter for outside and these are the blast mill profile gauge and this is the dry film thickness gauge. This is the newest one that came out. This is also another Bluetooth setup. Another alcometer. This is where the project manager usually sits. To make sure everybody's doing what they need to be doing today. All the safety applications are being followed and applied. Um, every day through our iPad app, we have our toolbox talk in the morning. Uh, we go through the plant schedule. As you can see, we're running trucks through all day long here. Toolbox area here in the back of the trailer. Uh, we have a propane fired furnace. It's right to the side here. Uh, wintertime work, we do a lot of exterior work, cleaning work, different types of things in the wintertime, so got to keep them warm. It can run up all the way along the top here with some just simple drain tile. Inside the semi-trailer here, we have all the tools, PPG, and safety that we would need to conduct pretty much every job. Cleaning supplies, air supplies, PPE and safety, plate lockers. Inside these cabinets, we have all of our pretty much full service spray tip spray cabinets. We have all of our extra guns. We have our inline spray guns. We have our normal spray guns. Here's our sandblasting hoods and our fresh air hoods and our helmets. Caps are when necessary if we're in anything that's tight quarters that big hard hands won't fit. Anytime we're doing any grinding or any type of mechanical abrasion, we're always wearing our safety shields in the front and in front of our face as well. Top here, you can see our uh, PPE safety boxes. Each one of these boxes is around $5,000. But this is all the good and the glory that gets hooked up to for when you sandblast. So what this does is this allows us to filter our fresh air so everybody throughout the hoods, four hoods can get hooked onto this as you can see up top by my hand. Four hoods get hooked to it and everybody's fresh air goes and gets monitored through here. We have our on off switch that'll set off an alarm if the CO2 in the air is too high. This always goes off right now because there's no air going to it. These alarms too are also available. What we have is a hookup. So on most of the alarms on your boxes, you simply have your audible alarm right here, and your green and your red lights. So going back to the air monitor boxes, these are the external alarms. So these external alarms get wired up with the hundreds of feet of cable through the breather box, out to the alarm, and then this alarm gets set somewhere out on the project site so anybody would be notified in case there was a problem with the breathing apparatus. Conclusion of day one, success. No one got hurt, we made some money.
heading home right now. A little early today, it's a Friday. Words of wisdom, you're only as good as your worst painter or your last job. Thanks for watching the first episode of Keel Industrial Services. Please be sure to subscribe to our page. Hit that alert button. Have a great day and keep painting away. What? What's up, I said hi. I miss him a lot. <laughs>